If you ever receive an email like this where someone is telling you to download something to check something out for yourself, they're claiming that there is a copyright infringement on my website, which I always use royalty free images and videos or the ones I create. So I know that's not the case. Instead of clicking and downloading whatever they send you, there is a way to find out if there is a virus or malware attached to this link without downloading it. Just carefully select this and copy it, okay? Don't click it. I'm just pressing Command C or Control C. That's copy or you could come up here, edit and then copy, okay? Don't click it. I'm gonna close this. Then I'm gonna come to this website. This is called Virus Total, and I'm gonna go ahead and press URL because I don't have the file. If you downloaded the file, you could upload the file here by choosing and uploading to make sure it was okay. But hopefully you haven't downloaded it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and go to edit and paste it over here in this box, right? So, so far it's not at all on my computer and it's going to this website and it's gonna scan it. So I'm gonna press enter. And in a few seconds, it should tell you what's going on. So you could see one security vendor flagged this as malicious and you could see over here, it's a malware. So this is kind of how they could get access to things on your computer by downloading something onto your computer that is going to give them access, which is called malware. Now you could get viruses this way and you could get other things that you definitely don't want on your computer. Now I'm on a Mac here, so I have this software called Clean My Mac X, which I'll link below. But if you think you got some sort of a virus, I'll put this one in the description below, the link to this one, and a link to a version for PC too. So you could go ahead and do a malware removal scan, a privacy scan, or just a virus scan. Again, these are reputable companies that I'm pointing out here, but you could do your own research on that. But you could just go directly to their websites from the link and read more about them. I'm not gonna give you a download link to anything because this is exactly how people get a malware, when you click on something to download. So I always recommend go to a, the website itself if you wanna download something from them. But this is definitely one easy way to check if something has a virus or malware attached to it from an email before you download it. I hope this was useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and I'll see you next time.